So now I'm going to talk about the Open Streets Initiative. Now, this is something I want to thank the City Council for their partnership. Uh, it's been uh, worked on not just with the Council, but with, of course, the NYPD and Department of Transportation. The open streets are going to be another way we help encourage social distancing because the warmer weather tells us we're going to have a new challenge. And we combine the fact that we have to meet that challenge by understanding where people are going to be again. We're going to require social distancing, face coverings, and people only being out for just the period of time they need for their exercise and then get back. But we do know warmer weather is going to draw out more people. That's obvious. And we also know that, thank God, the NYPD and all our agencies are getting back their personnel in really great numbers. So they're regaining their strength in terms of being able to enforce farther and farther across the city and better and better. So with the city council, we agreed that we would uh, put together a plan to open 40 miles of streets in May, 100 miles overall in the course of this crisis. And the focus would be on those streets near parks because we expect them to attract a lot of people in the warmer weather. We want to expand the parks, if you will, by opening up these streets. And of course, the hardest hit neighborhoods, the place where we've seen this disease have the most devastating effect. So today we'll announce the first seven miles, over seven miles, in fact, of these open streets. And these will all be opening on Monday. Uh, 4.5 miles are inside parks uh, there are areas that will now be devoted to uh, pedestrians, bicyclists. 4.5 miles, and that's made up of Callahan Kelly Park, Forest Hill Park, Fort uh, Tryon Park, Flushing Meadows Park, Grant Park, and Silver Lake Park. And then 2.7 miles of streets that are adjacent near parks that will help to expand and affect the parks. And that will be at Carl Schurz Park, Court Square, Highbridge Park, uh, Lieutenant William Teague Triangle, Prospect Park, Stapleton Waterfront Park, and Williams Bridge Oval. That's the beginning, and we're going to build out from there. So this is a, an initiative where uh, we think it's going to help a lot. It's going to you know, go where people need it to go. And again, this is an initiative that we can do with proper enforcement by the NYPD and the Parks Department and all our other colleague agencies. So you can expect that this is going to help people to have some more space, but also with vigilant eyes to make sure there's no gatherings, there are no attempts by people to you know, create uh, sports or group activities. Uh, we're not going to allow that. We're going to keep making sure people socially distance and keep making sure people have face coverings and anyone doesn't happen to have one, more and more someone will be offering you one out on the street if you don't have one.